war is the biggest business of this world because the biggest merchants of this world tussle or, or compete well those are called as governments so governments fight and that's when we call it as war and the world has seen the world war 1 and world war 2 and now after that the effort has always been about how can we prevent war the human fear breeds it but at the same time newer ways of war is coming up now we call it as cyber warfare or bio warfare now you as a biotechnologist can play a crucial role in the world of bio warfare so let's today dive in into the bio warfare research which is going on in drdo or darpa or any other organizations in the world now to start with you should know this that darpa started way back beyond before 1950s and in fact they are the pioneers of something which you you and i use every day and right now you're using that and that is called as the internet right so darpa is so advanced that their bio warfare division is probably the biggest in the world their warfare research is such that you cannot even imagine they are working on viruses or uh, prevention as well as cure of various diseases healing and what not but now coming to drdo of late drdo re realized that in fact our government realized that if we don't have any such organization which is working in this direction then we will not be able to prevent bio warfare or a pandemic or a epidemic outbreak in our country because the job of the army is not to or the job of the government is not to protect from the enemy but to protect from any enemy right and pathogens are also enemy so our defense research organization called as drdo also is working on this now if you want to get into any of these organization i'll tell you the upside and the downside the upside is you get a very lucrative stable job which keeps you you know float for life but the only downside is you cannot publish papers you cannot talk about your research in the public domain in fact you have to be completely scrubbed off the public domain so that's where no recognition no rewards no public life okay now coming to what kind of research you can get in if you want to get into drdo so basically if you want to get into drdo first you have to do research which might lead you to the drdo so you have to create that path that path i'm about to tell you the first one which comes in my mind is bio defense and pathogen detection so you can develop bio sensors or you can work on bio sensors research which helps real time detection of major pathogens in the air water food so that way drd will get attracted and they will hire you so that's the first the second one you can work on human health so that you can enhance the human capacity so that at, at drd or darpa they are actively working on enhancing the soldier's capacity right and then they are also working on how to enhance the performance of the soldier naturally also you can do research on healing power so how fast a injured soldier can heal also working on medicines which can be carried easily in the war and can be applied faster and healing power is better so these kind of research if you are doing you can easily get into darpa or drdo so that's the second the third one which we have is biomaterials and smart fabrics so what happens under this now if you see our soldiers work in one of the worst conditions in this world right their workplace is either a glacier or a mountain or a desert extreme weather conditions a dress or a uniform which protects them from extreme weather conditions is the is the need but it should be lightweight it should be natural it should not cause any irritation to the body and at the same time we can have armors body armors which has self healing power which we can have armors which can prevent them from uh, bullets of the enemy we can have fabrics which has embedded sensors to monitor the health and environmental conditions and which ship sends it back to the a uh, command center so these are the things where you can do research now the fourth one is obviously environmental monitoring and management now biotechnology as we know plays a vital role in environmental monitoring and management with military operations engineered microorganisms can be used to clean up oil spills degrade hazardous materials such as nuclear nuclear waste and manage waste more effectively now this ensures safer and more sustainable practices in the military environments now the fifth one which we have is bioengineering and for strategic advancement so you can use bioengineering to develop synthetic biology tools 
such as fuel and energy sources, genetically modified organisms for various tactical uses. Advancements in the drone technology by learning how the natural honeybee works. These kind of things you can uh, replicate in the military research and then easily if you have done this and then you apply for a uh, job in DRDO, you will be easily welcomed and you will get a job. So if you are a fresher or you are a PhD student, choose these kind of topics for your PhD or research. Pursue research in these directions and then apply at DRDO. Show that you have what, what all things you have worked at. Publish paper, have a reputation. Then you go and apply there. Your chances of getting selected as a scientist is very, very high. In fact, the uh, other uh, title of this video should be the shortcut to get into DRDO. These are the five shortcuts I told you today using which you can get into DARPA or DRDO or any other such organizations and contribute towards protecting the nation from enemies. The enemies are not just visible, but they are invisible and you need to protect your country. And if you are motivated for that, then go ahead, do research in these directions and of course, get a job in DRDO, world's biggest biotech lab, exists in DRDO and DARPA. All the best, take care, bye-bye.